Hello travel lovers, welcome to our channel, where travelers get inspired to plan their itinerary trip in a budget-friendly way and saving a lot of money during traveling prescribed by us on our channel. Today we have amazing itinerary trip for our viewers on Maldives. Maldives has been a dream destination for many of us. Surrounded dazzling turquoise waters, which is definitely a paradise for the beach bummers located southwest of India and Sri Lanka in the Indian Ocean. The country comprises 1,192 islands, the Maldives has two travel seasons wet season from mid-October to March, and the dry season from November to April. The best season is dry season, where you can enjoy bright sun, street shopping, and water sports activities, and calm yourself in beach. Whereas the wet season is full of tropical storms and heavy rainfall. To the start your journey Mail Island would be a good option, because Valina International Airport is the main international airport in the Maldives. After taking long hours of journey you might not think to stay far away from the airport. First and second day in Mail Island Mail, is the capital of the Maldives located in the southern edge of Kafu Atul, and is now famous as the King's Island. The best advice to arrive in Maldives is by morning, where you will get full day, to relax and travel around. You will find plenty of options, to stay in a hotel near to the airport. And if you are looking for to stay in luxury villas or resorts the best area, to look around is the Hohalmail Island. You can go to Mail Harbor in a taxi from there you can reach to the Hohalmail Island with a 20-min ferry ride which costs just Maldivian Rufiu 5.50, and it departs every 15 minutes. So let's leave the first day for rest, and start your journey from second day. After having your breakfast the ideal, to start your journey is by 9 am. Things to do in Mail Island enjoy the lovely city and harbor area around you, Sip on a refreshing cup of traditional black tea at the famous Royal Garden Cafe, housed in a rare example of a Ganjivera or a nobleman's house, where you can witness a prime example of traditional, dark carved wooden interiors. Bill a mail and save the beach, the 60-minute walking tour is the perfect opportunity to gain an insider's perspective into the local way of city life, while learning how the local communities come together with the NGO Save the Beach have been working to protect both their island and ocean environment. Hedhika experience, our final taste of Maldivian culture comes with a traditional Hedhika experience, where they enjoy black tea paired with traditional sweet and savory snacks, and talk about their everyday lives. End your trip by 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Leave the evening for local shopping and local food. The Maldives might not be a shopper's paradise, but it is excellent for collecting some mementos. Mail can fulfill your shopping needs as you experience the culture of this idyllic island. The handicraft sections, local snacks, clothes, toys, and souvenirs of the bazaar, are enough to tempt the foreign tourists. This market can be a threat to your pockets as you would wish to buy everything you see. Third and fourth day is Mifushi Island from Mail Island, you can take a taxi to Jetty One or the Mifushi Ferry. This taxi ride costs nearly $2 and takes another 10 minutes to reach the ferry point. Mifushi also known as Maldives Paradise, the Mifushi Beach is among the best beaches in the country that is sought after for fun activities. This place stands in top amongst the famous places in Maldives. With a wide range of water sports that keep the tourists hooked, the food served here is lip-smacking and will leave you licking your fingers. Apart from the amazing things to do on Mifushi Island, one can indulge in, one should treat their eyes to the scenic beauty that graces this island. The mix of blue and white is perfectly blended to relax your mind by the sight of it. Things you can do, snorkeling, witness the marine life, some of the best snorkeling sites are Mavalathu, Banana Reef, Villavera Corner, and Mifushi Corner, night and day fishing, catch unique species of fishes. Most guest houses in Mifushi, organize fishing tours for their patrons, not just during daytime, but also at night. If the guest house you are staying at doesn't offer this, simply walk up to the nearest dive center for an attractive package. The fish that you catch, can be cooked in a restaurant for a really small charge. Or, you could set up a barbecue yourself, and savor your catch as you watch the sun go down against the backdrop of the beautiful blue waters. Island hopping, explore the nearby islands. There are a number of islands like Gulhi and Goreto are popular one around Mifushi, that you can explore. Your guest house will gladly arrange private transfers with a guide, upon request. At rather affordable rates. The best attraction is the sand-kissed beaches. But, after a long day of soaking in the sun, you can step out for an evening stroll through the main street of the city and experience the local culture, first-hand at AT the end of the main street, to the very south of the island, is the daunting Mifushi prison. The prison looks imposing, and is surrounded on all sides by a metal fence, that has menacing jagged edges. Dolphin Safari, spot the cute creatures. If you are afraid of diving deep into the water, then one of the things you can enjoy on the water is Dolphin Safari. There are numerous operators that organize a dolphin watching trip. Head on the motorboat and drive to the middle of the ocean, where you will meet a school of fascinating dolphins. 
they are the most intelligent and cutest creatures in the water. One of the most things to do in Mifushi Island is to book a stay in one of those luxury resorts located right by the ocean. Mifushi gives you an excellent opportunity to enjoy a stay at one of these resorts, where you can wake up to the enthralling views of the ocean and enjoy other luxuries in the resort. This kind of place is perfect for couples on honeymoon or romantic vacation. Floating bar and safari, grab a beer or two. The cruise organizes evening tours, where alcohol and food are served. What is better than enjoying a beer with a view, while floating on the water? There is even a lavish room, where you can spend the night. It is one of the best things to do on Mifushi Island. How to reach from Mail to Mifushi. Option 1 You can take a ferry from Mail to Mifushi Island which is super cheap. Option 2 You can take speedboat from Mail to Mifushi Island in a quick way. The reef is 50 kilometers long, and the easternmost point of the Maldives archipelago. One of the features of this diving area is the deep channels known as Candice, that bring in fast-flowing currents full of nutrients. Here divers can meet hundreds of nurse sharks. Snorkeling safaris if you're not scuba diving go for a snorkel trip instead, and check out the stunning coral gardens, huge school of fishes around the area. Sea turtles, clownfish, scorpionfish, and a great variety of colorful tropical fish can be easily spotted by snorkeling, then it who can boast one of the best bikini beaches in Maldives. The beach is really nice, no dead corrals on the beachside, where you enter the ocean. From the water sports center, you can do jet ski, kayaking in the lagoon, windsurfing. How to reach from Mifushi to Fulitu Island Option 1 You can take a ferry from Mifushi to Fulitu Island which is super cheap. Hotels offer a mix of local, Asian, and European dishes. Please note, there is no ATM in Fulitu, so you need to withdraw cash in mail, or bring cash in United States dollars as it's widely accepted in Maldives. You'll find a medical clinic with a doctor and nurse, a pharmacy, several shops selling souvenirs and groceries, two local cafes, a community center and a mosque. It's time now to end this trip and departure back to the mail airport. You will find multiple options like by a public ferry, by scheduled speedboat, and the cost will be below US $60 per person. This type of transportation is recommended for a group of six people. The price is $750 for a trip. By seaplane, you can transfer by a seaplane to the airport which will takes about 20 minutes and costs $420 per person on both sides. This trip should be booked in advance, not less than five days before arrival. Things to remember before you finally plan your trip first visa for arrival for 30 days is available for most nationalized which can be further extended 90 days of stay. Second US dollar is widely accepted, but it's better to carry local currency. Third seafood is a major source of food, but vegetarian food is wildly available. Fourth import of alcohol is not permitted, but alcohol is available in all the resorts. Fifth you must carry lightweight cotton clothes and sandals. Sixth do not forget to carry good amount of high SPF sunscreen. Seventh the last and most important Maldives is an Islamic country to wear bikini or swimsuits might not be available in every places. Each traveler must follow the country rules and regulations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And if you really like this video do not forget to share this video with friends and family. Stay tuned to this channel to get further updates about such amazing and exciting holidays destination trips.